work. We know work as any activity we do. The effect of force on a body is called work. Work is done when a still object is set into motion or the shape of an object is changed. What is a machine? A machine is a device that makes work simpler, easier and faster. Machines reduce time, effort and energy to do work. Simple machines are those that have a simple structure and work on a simple and basic principle. Look at some commonly used simple machines. For a machine to function, force needs to be applied at a convenient point. Different kinds of simple machines There are different kinds of simple machines used by us in our daily lives. The pulley, the inclined plane, the lever, the wheel and the axle. Pulley The pulley helps us in lifting loads vertically by applying force in a suitable and convenient direction. It consists of a wheel which is fixed to a support. The wheel has a grooved rim over which a rope is passed. The load is tied to one end of the rope and the effort is applied at the other end of the rope. It is very difficult to lift a weight upwards against the force of gravity. But through a pulley, we pull down instead of pulling up and thus less effort is required. Inclined Plane An inclined plane is a flat surface with a slope. When we place a plane, that is, plank or rod, etc., at an angle to the base of a surface, it becomes an inclined plane. This is used especially when heavy things have to be loaded or unloaded. Using an inclined plane makes the work much easier as relatively small force is needed. It is easier to push something up a slope rather than lifting it straight up. Liver A liver is a simple machine. The man is using an iron rod to lift the heavy package. He has placed a block of wood close to the package and he is resting the rod on it. He applies a downward force and thus is able to lift the package. Here, the iron rod is the liver. The package to be lifted is the load. The wooden block is the fulcrum, also called a pivot which is the fixed point of the liver. The force which the man is using to lift the package is known as the effort. There are three kinds of livers with different arrangements of load, effort and fulcrum. Wheel and Axle the wheel and axle is a simple machine in which there is a rod, axle, 
which has a wheel connected to its either end. When the axle is turned, the wheels move. A steering wheel and bicycle pedal are some examples of this simple machine. Force and Work Force is defined as a push or pull that makes an object move. Force is applied to put a stationary object into motion by increasing its speed or to stop a moving object by decreasing its speed. Force is also applied to change the shape of an object. When you write, for example, you are exerting a force on the pencil because you push it over the paper. In this picture, both the men are moving the trolley in the same direction, although one is pulling and the other is pushing it, which helps them move it faster. Two forces applied on the same object and in the same direction will make the work easier and faster. On the other hand, if both the men pull the trolley in the opposite direction, the trolley will remain at its place or will move in the direction of the force applied by the stronger person. The game of tug of war is based on this principle. Force requires the presence of minimum two interacting bodies. The effect of force is seen by the change in the direction or motion or shape or position of an object to which it is applied. Types of Force Muscular Force The force produced by muscles to carry out tasks is called muscular force. A coolie or a porter carries a luggage and a rickshaw puller ferries people around using muscular force. Gravitational Force The natural phenomenon by which two objects that have mass or energy attract one another is called gravitational force. The greater the mass of the body, the higher the gravitational force it exerts. Gravitational force decreases with increasing distance between the two objects. It is the gravitational force of the sun that pulls the planets and makes them revolve in a fixed path. The tides on the surface of the earth are caused by the gravitational pull of the sun and the moon. The gravitational force of the earth is called its gravity. The force by which the earth pulls objects towards it is called the earth's gravity. Objects, when thrown up, fall back on the earth because the earth's gravity is pulling the objects towards it. The weight of an object is the measurement of gravitational force between the object and the earth. Weight is force while its mass is the amount of matter it contains. The mass of an object stays the same wherever it is, but its weight can change. 
This happens if the object is moved to a place where gravity is either stronger or weaker. For example, if we go to the moon or any other heavenly body, our mass remains the same, but our weight changes. This change occurs due to the difference in the gravitational force exerted by the earth and the moon. Frictional force Frictional force is the force that acts between a moving object and the surface along which it moves. The force of friction acts opposite to the direction of motion. It plays an important role in our daily lives. We are able to walk because of the frictional force between our foot soles and the ground. It is difficult to walk on smooth, slippery ground or if the ground is greasy or oily. This is because the presence of oil or grease reduces the frictional force between the ground and our shoes. If there was no frictional force between the paper and the pen or pencil, we would not have been able to write, paint and draw anything. Rough surfaces generate more friction.